Hello and welcome. My name is Vicky and I am doing a video today on Buceral Injection or as you may know by its brand name Supercore. The video today is split into two parts. In part one I am going to talk about the medicine and in part two I am going to give you a real demonstration on how to give your injection. Um, I am a pharmacist, I work in the NHS in London and I'm also a patient receiving treatment. The video, uh, the two parts of the video today, I am doing to serve as an aid memoir for any patient who is receiving treatment and they just want to know uh, how to administer the, their injection correctly and safely. Now, Bucerolin is a synthetic version of a hormone produced in your body. For the purposes of treating infertility, Bucerolin switches your ovaries off, it deactivates them. And this is what the clinic will refer to as downregulation, the first stage of your treatment. Now the clinic should tell you the day to start taking your uh, Bucerolin, the dose you need to start taking, and also the rough duration of your the, the time that you're going to take it depending on whether you're on a long cycle or short cycle. Once you start taking it you need to start taking it every day preferably at the same time roughly at the same time and you need to continue taking it until the clinic tells you when to stop taking it. Now the Bucerolin uh, medicines will come in two boxes like as so and when you open one, it should look like a vial just like this, containing clear uh, fluid ready for use. It should not look cloudy, it should not have any sediment or particles in it. If so, you need to report this to your clinic as it's unsafe to use. There is an expiry date on the side, and obviously do not use if it's beyond its expiry date. And on the side of the vial also, there's a place where it says first withdrawal. And this means that after you pierce the valve for the first time with your needle, the expiry date written on the side no longer applies and the expiry date is now 15 days after you have opened your vial. Now, um, there are a couple of very commonly asked questions asked by patients uh, to the manufacturer and I'll go through with them. The first one is, uh, uh, how many doses do you normally get in your uh, vial? And this will depend on the dose that you take. Now, this can range from 20 units to 50 units. Um, and also, you've got to remember that also once you've opened your uh, vial and pierced it, you've only got 15 days to use it. Now, also in each vial, there's a tiny bit of overage, so you may find you get a little bit more, uh, many, many, a little, few couple more doses than you would normally expect. Second question um, asked by patients is, are there any special precautions for storing this particular medicine? Now, for some patients, they get all their IV medicines in one big package, and some of them do actually need to be stored in the fridge. If you read the package leaflet that's inside this um, uh, container, it will tell you that you need to store this below 25 degrees. Um, do not freeze, and when not in use, store the vial in its um, outer container to protect it from light. So, in most cases, room temperature is perfectly fine. However, if the temperature does rise above 25 degrees, um, you need to find a cooler place to store it. And for some patients, that may mean storing it in a fridge. Thank you for watching for this part one. I shall move on to part two shortly, where I shall give you a real demonstration of how to give your medicines. Thank you for watching.